Like that. Oh, my phone is dead right now. Oh, shit. It's all good. It's all good. What's going on, everybody? Bully fam, what's good? What's going on, Bully fam? What's good? What's good? What's good? I'm letting people just kind of jump on tap, you know, right now. What's going on, Bully fam? Yeah, I got some news for you guys today. It's going to be dope. It's going to be dope. What's going on, Bully fam? People that's tapping in. What state you tapping in from? What state you repping? Hey, what's good? Dogman Jubers, Dogman Jubers on the live. What's good, bro? What's good? When just people start to tap in. Like I said, I got I got a little bit of beef with the bully community, so I got to address that today. But um, I just want some more people to start tapping in. Yeah, what state you guys repping, guys? What state you guys repping? Memphis, Cali, Connecticut. What's good? What's good? All right, letting more people just tap in. Bully Pride Kennels, what's good, bro? Orlando, that's what's up. Jersey, okay, okay. Yeah, I know I got a lot of people in Jersey that follow me. Actually, let me pin this real quick. While you guys, yo, drop, like I said, drop, drop what state you guys is repping. Um, I'm going to put this, I'm going to pin this real quick. I'm going to pin this quote to this uh, post. If you guys hear the puppies in the background, that's um these puppies I'm going to show you guys tonight. Yeah, I'm man. I'm hyped. I'm hyped to show you guys. Like I haven't. I've been so tempted. I've been so tempted to um, post a picture of these guys. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna save it for the live. The people that really rock with me, things like that. I'm gonna let you guys see them first. You know what I'm saying? Um. Yeah. So. so yeah, and then tomorrow, tomorrow we're gonna drop an episode of Breeders Hacks, guys. You know what I'm saying? I mean, um. I don't want to give away what it's about, but it's going to be definitely a dope episode. Um, I got Double Muscle Line in on it. And, um, yeah, I mean, a lot of you guys, like, yo, if you guys got ideas for Breeders Hacks, you know what I'm saying, like, episodes you guys want to see, yo, just just, just DM me. Send, you know, drop a comment, like, especially, like, on the YouTube channel. i really be looking at the comments on the YouTube channel. You know, drop a comment and let me know what episode you guys want to see, you know? Um... You know, whether it's further in detail on certain things, whatever the case it may be, you know, that um that relaxing test episode is hitting hard, like on, on the YouTube channel, getting a few thousand views on that. So yeah, I think that one was dope. Ninety five bullies, what's good, bro? What's good? Let me see. Alright, so I'm gonna probably probably get a little started, whatever the case it may be. Um. Oh shit! You guys can see actually. Yo, these is the microscopes, guys. Yo, these shits. I'm so hyped about these. Like, you have no idea. I don't know when I'm gonna have more in stock, but I don't know if you guys can see. Like, yo, this is like, this is um like veterinary grade. This shit is so dope. Like, I've I've messed around. I don't like those. What is it? Tetras, Petras, whatever they called. You know, this like zooms in so much more. You know, you get the LCD screen. This actually, I could, you know, pop this off and you can see it normally, like through the regular lens. You know what I'm saying? So that's, yeah, this thing, this thing is really dope, guys. I, I, I hope I get some more soon. Um, yeah, I got, just for you guys on the live, I got like one extra one that I have as a backup. If somebody's really, really interested, you really need one bad, you can DM me. But other than that, they're all like, I, these sold out ridiculously fast this shit is dope i really like these a lot if you're serious about like your program especially like if you're serious about a stud and you want to make sure like when you're sending out semen sending confirmation videos showing that like because the worst thing that could happen 
is like sending out semen and the client saying, well, the semen is no good, whatever the case may be. If you, you know, take a quick video, whatever the case may be, before you send that semen out on, on a microscope like this, nothing could be said. You know what I'm saying? You sent out good quality semen. You, sh you, sh you showed a video. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, let me see. I think, so let me see. Somebody bought a badge. Uh, Gen Jennifer 210TX bought a badge. Truly appreciate it. Um, I wasn't going to do another giveaway, but since you guys, you know, um, had DM me about it, I'm going to go ahead and do a giveaway to whoever buys badges. Um, I'm going to send you something off of breedershacks.com. We're going to do that again. So, um, Jennifer, you got a badge. Appreciate it. Um, like I said, you're going to be entered in the raffle after this. I put it in my story. Um, let me just go back and see some comments. Uh... Dead end bullies. I like the milk replacement one. Yeah, the milk replacement episode is dope. I got, I got actually, speaking of episodes of Breeders Hacks, I got another one that, like, there's add ons to that. Like, for example, like, if you got dehydrated puppies, we put Pedialyte in it instead of replacement of the water. And I mean, it'll scare you how fast it rehydrates your puppies. Dehydration is what, like, one of the lead killers in killing puppies, you know? So. Yeah, definitely. Um, Li Bully Squad, can I get one? Are they gone yet? Oh, the microscopes. Like I said, DM me. I have one that was supposed to be my backup, but if you really interested, um, you you can hit me up. Um, yeah, it come it comes with the screen. It comes with the screen. A hat, yo, appreciate it. The real hat boy, yo, he bought a badge. Um, yet again, same thing. Anybody who buys a badge, you're going to be entered into the, um, the raffle I'm going to do after this. I'm going to send you something off of breedershacks.com. Um, so yo, truly appreciate you supporting the live. Um, Bully Pride Kennels, yo, appreciate the badge. Same for you, man. Um, after this, I'm going to try to shoot it real quick on my story. Like I said, we're going to do a giveaway. It's going to be dope. I want to send, I want to send you guys some more stuff. So, um, all right, let me see. I'm going to get to questions. Like, I'm going to get to questions more towards the end of this because, like I said, I, I don't have a lot of time today. So I want to go ahead and just, like, you know, touch on a few things um, that I told you guys I was going to touch on today, you know. So, like, one of the things is, um, and let me see if I could put this in here. One of the things I wanted to actually mention is for this is, before I get into serious business, breedershacks.com, right? Uh, we partnered up with this company called Sezzle. So it's fucking dope. And I'm gonna explain why. Because with Sezzle, what they allow us to do now is like, yo, say you want, say you need an incubator, right? You want an incubator for your pups to be here, but you know, whatever fun, funds, you ain't trying to shell out the funds right away, whatever the case may be. And actually, let me see if I can put them in here. Yeah, see, um, whatever, like say the funds, whatever the case, there's maybe an issue Maybe you just ain't, you're trying to shell it all out right now because you got to pay for stud fees, C-sections, things like that. Sezzle actually um, partnered up with us. So now you can break it up a month, amongst six, week, uh, six weeks. You know what I'm saying? So say you buy an incubator, you can go ahead and buy the incubator and wait until the puppies are sold in order to be able to pay it back. You know, it, it's like 25% each, whatever. So by, you hit, by the time you hit the six weeks, you know what I'm saying? Like it was, the payment was spread out rather than having to shell it out all at once. And I think the cap for it is like 2,500. So you can go crazy, get all the stuff you need so you don't gotta, you know, um, stress about when puppies are here and go ahead and it'll be broken up amongst, um, you know, the, the six week payments. So I just wanted to show that real quick. I thought that was dope. So like I said, guys, um, Sezzle, if you go on the site, it's automatically an option. So um, I had somebody do that and I thought, like when he told me, I thought that was a dope concept. So they bought the incubator when the puppies were born. And like I said, they paid it in little increments. So by the time the puppies were sold, you know what I'm saying? They wasn't, it didn't affect them, their pockets like that. You know what I'm saying? And they boiled out. They spent like 2,500 and bought everything they needed. There was no excuse. They bought everything they needed, um, you know, for their litter, you know? So that's just one thing I wanted to show you guys real quick. Um, yeah, definitely. Like I said, Sezzle's dope. Um, and all you do, and, and what's dope is they don't, they don't, it don't go against your credit. You know what I'm saying? It don't go against your credit. So, um, just something to be mindful of. Like I said, if you need something on breedershacks.com, there you go. You know, um, 
985 bullies bought a badge. Yo, truly appreciate it. You again, you're going to be um, entered into the raffle I'm going to do after this live. Um, like I said, everybody who buys a badge, you entered into the raffle. I'm going to send you something. You know what I'm saying? Um, depending on whoever, you know, whoever wins. So, um, yeah, so like I said, I like, I like Sezzle. It's dope. Like I said, all you got to do is just, you know, instead of paying with your card, you pay through that. And like I said, I think the cap is like 2500 You know what I'm saying? I wish I could get the progesterone machines on there. That would be dope. But they're just a little bit more. So I'm trying to figure out something on that. But as far as everything else, like I said, you know, you could buy your incubators, stuff like that. And uh, if you're waiting for puppies to be sold, hey, that's the perfect way. You know what I'm saying? And if you build an account with them, I think your, your credit limit goes up. Anyway, that says it, guys. So um, I wanted to now address my beef that I got with some in the b bully community because I got I got a real beef and I'm, I'm gonna tell you what my beef is right yo my beef uh before I say what my beef was um yo S Savannah boy bullies bought a badge um yo truly appreciate it bro um actually yo make sure you guys follow him too he locked in um anger management he gonna be breeding his crazy chocolate bitch to anger management make sure y'all follow him um he bought a badge you entered into the raffle bro uh big george 37 he bought a badge um you're gonna be entered into the raffle too bro um uh yeah truly appreciate it 95 bullies um off the ground bullies bought a badge yo another one i'm, I'm i truly appreciate it and like i said uh this this keeps us wanting to do in the lives you know what i'm saying wants to keeps us to do it you know it keeps us uh you know, like I said, it encourages me to keep going on here and doing these rather than just doing the episodes on YouTube. But appreciate it, bro. You're entered into the raffle, too. Um, so, all right. Now that we got that out the way, um, my beef with the bully community, right? Um, and it's not particularly with one person. It's like with, with a, a few kennels as a whole. And what it is, bro, what it is, is heat lamps. I got beef with kennels that use heat lamps. I'm not going to lie. I used to be one. I used to use heat lamps, but I no longer use them. I no longer use heat lamps. And I recommend anybody, if you're watching this live, throw your heat lamp out. Do not use them anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, it has caused me so much headaches with puppies. And some winners ha have been fine. You know what I'm saying? But my beef is like, there's so much... There's so much better options, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to break down why. Because it's like I said, like, yeah, Savannah Boy Boys, they dry out the puppies. 100% they dry out the puppies. Um, Real quick, King's Boys bought actually two badges. I truly appreciate it, bro. And you got now two entries into the raffle. So like I said, at the end of this, I'm going to go ahead, send y'all, um, I'm going to do a little raffle on my live, I mean, um, my story. And uh, whoever wins, I'm going to send you something off of BeersHacks.com. My bad. So, like I said, my beef is with heat lamps. Heat lamps are terrible for puppies. Do not use them. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it irks me when I see kennels using them. Like, selling incubators with heat lamps and shit. And I used to be one of them. Like, I got a, I, I got the video on how to make your own incubator, and I was using it. So, you know, I'm, I'm guilty of using it, too, but... I don't, I don't use them anymore, and I try to tell everybody, do not use heat lamps. I'm going to explain why, right? So, what happens is, um, off the ground bullies, truly appreciate it. He bought another, he, he bought a badge. Um, like I said, with, with, with the heat lamps, what happens is, is like, you're fucking cooking the puppies like a rotisserie. Like, what happens is the air gets too hot. And now that's why you have to run a humidifier, uh, a, a humidity. You have to put a you know humidifier in there because it, it dries out the puppies and then it's like cooking them. You know what I'm saying? They dehydrate as well. Yes, heat lamps is one of the leading causes as to dehydrating the puppies. You know what I'm saying? Like, and for me, it's like, I see so many, I see people, I see kennels that are selling incubators with heat lamps. I'm not trying to knock nobody's hustle, but it's like, yo, like, at the end of the day, I care more about the dogs and the puppies. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, um, I'm so, so, so against heat lamps. Like, um, now, here's the a better alternative, the better option, right? Using heating pads. Like, and they're not 
you can get a heating pad for the same price that you're gonna buy the heat lamp. So that's what's even more like crazy to me. And with a heating pad, what happens is, is that it actually is so beneficial for the puppy because the puppy's, let's say the puppy's stomach is on the heating pad, right? It's gonna help promote digestion even better. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna dry out the puppy. So you don't now have to really run a humidifier unless it's super, super dry wherever you're at. But for the most part, like I haven't even really needed to run humidifiers anymore. You know what I'm saying? As long as the surface area warms up. So I've been using heating pads and it's like, oh my God, like it's made a million times difference. It's, it's made a humongous difference. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, I just, I, I, I cringe when I see kennels using the heat lamps, you know what I'm saying? And it's not something like, it's all fine and dandy until your puppies start getting dehydrated. You know what I'm saying? So some kennels get away with it. That's cool. But I wouldn't run the risk anymore. You know what I'm saying? I'm here telling you guys, you know what I'm saying? You can't say nobody didn't tell you. I would switch over to a heating pad. And I mean, on top of that, um, now, if you want to take it a step up, like a lot of heating pads, the issue with them is that they they cut off after a certain amount of time, after X amount of hours, whatever, right? I'm not going to try. I'm not trying to promote my product, but I'm going to promote my product. Breedershacks.com, we got the heating pads that actually, um, they're programmed not to cut off. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, same, it's like the same price as a heat lamp. You don't got to buy it from me. You could buy it anywhere else. I don't really care about that part. For at the end of the day, it's just about you know you never know like that one puppy that got dehydrated and died because of the heat lamp that could have been your hitter that could have been your puppy you could have sold for 20,000 30,000 40 50,000 you know what i'm saying like that's the way i think you know what i'm saying like every puppy is important and every puppy matters you know what i'm saying because it's like unfortunately that's like whatever the bully guys whatever the shit is man like yo when you lose puppies it's it usually be like the fucking hitters you know so like I said, keep your puppies safe. Don't use heat lamps. Switch over to the heating pads. If you want to take it a step up, you can go ahead and get yourself a heating pad that don't cut off. But I will tell you guys, like, the puppies love it. The puppies absolutely love it. Like, you can tell a puppy is content, like, also when they're sleeping on their back and their legs are up. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're super content. Yo. They do that. I don't want, I don't want to interject, but people, people get that misconstrued with Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Double Muscle Line Ant is here. He ain't just jumping on because he's taking care of the puppies right now. But, um, yeah, so the puppies are super content when you'll see their legs up and their stomachs facing, you know, stomachs facing up. But the problem is people also misconstrue it and think that the puppies are content when in reality they're using a heat lamp and the heat and they got their stomachs up because they're just trying to get heat from the heat lamp. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't do a heat lamp you know like i said last thing i'm gonna just say is about this is that with the heating pads the heating pads are very similar to like the feeling they would be inside their mothers that's what you want to you want to simulate when you bring them into this world you want to bring them into this world uh as if they feel like they're already in their mother's womb like they're still in their mother's womb you know what i'm saying so just food for thought guys like i said um DM me if you got more questions about it, but um, yeah, that's 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 my beef. Like I got a real like, I, I get pissed when I see that shit, man. But you know that's why I'm here to try to help educate. Um, let me see. Uh, what do I think of incubators? I think incubators is dope. I'm gonna show you the one I got right now. Um, I think incubators is real dope. Um, yeah, let me show you. So, all right, all right, let me, let me backtrack. I got two incubators that I use, right? I and mean, I'm explaining why. I'm still working on perfecting this. I may even patent it, but I'm explaining why. And this has been like amazing when it comes to whelping puppies. I'm gonna show you guys. So this, this incubator I'm gonna show you right now, right? This, this incubator I'm gonna show you right now is um, what I use for travel, meaning I get a C-section. It's yo. How many hours is it? Huh? Uh, four. All right. The C-section that I get is four hours away. So obviously puppies have to eat every two hours. So what I do is we bring our travel incubator. So it's cool. Everybody, you know, you got you see people who got these fancy incubators. You know what I'm saying? That that you know have the nebulizers and everything like that. That's cool. But you can't take that in the car with you. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you got a four-hour drive. 
So same thing for me, I have my preferred incubator, but this is what I use for travel. So like we did, um, and you're gonna see, on tomorrow's episode, we actually talked about this. But um, with this incubator here, what we do is we, it, it's, it's, let me just show you. So this incubator right here is portable, right? So it's got an outlet right here. I don't know if you guys can see. And um, this is the wall, this is the wall mount, right? I mean the wall uh, plug. So you go ahead, plug this in, you know, and it's dope because, it's dope because it's, it's, it heats up from the bottom of the plastic, but it doesn't get hot enough to melt the plastic. Um, so it keeps them like a nice, what is it, like 99, like, yeah, like 98, 97, you know what I'm saying? Which you got to remember, some people say, oh, that's too hot. When you take the female's temperature, it's like 98 degrees, you know what I'm saying? So that's the environment that's exactly the same as when they come into this world, you know what I'm saying? I mean, um, when they're in their mother. So this is what I use, and like I said, um, it heats from the bottom. So yet again, no heat lamp, doesn't dry them out. And then this is like what I love about it is it plugs into your car cigarette lighter. It runs off of 12 volts. So like I said, you plug it in like this and you're good. You know what I'm saying? So road trip, you know what I'm saying? I could go to a vet six hours away, eight hours away. You know what I'm saying? With this incubator, you know what I'm saying? And they feel like they're just, they, they feel like they're still in their mother. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't, I, I'm not trying to do product placement, but I'm gonna do product placement. Readershacks.com, we got them on there too. So like I said, guys, um, this is super dope. Um, and like I said, you know, this is what we use. It's not humongous. We sell a bigger one, you know, um, this is relatively small, but yet again, I don't use this to keep them in. I use this to just travel and bring them home. You know what I'm saying? So this incubator is dope, closes like this, and you're good to go. You know what I'm saying? Um, I tell the vet actually, put it right, put the puppies right in there. I don't want the puppy sitting on a table, none of that. I don't want to worry about airborne pathogens. Put them right in here, let me take them and head out. You know what I'm saying? So I think um, I'm gonna do an episode more in detail on this, but this is like, something similar to this is what you want, guys. Like, you don't need the heat lamp. Use um, something that heats the bottom, you know what I'm saying? So this is super dope. This is what I use to travel. So now, um, I would show you, but Ant, Double Muscle Line Ant is kind of busy with them right now. But then I have the other incubator. I did an episode on it. If you go back and look, um, that, that incubator is the same style still. It's the cat litter box. But instead, we, we changed it. We got rid of the heat lamp. And now we use um, uh, a heating pad that's temperature controlled. Uh, we use a, a heat controller. And I mean, that works amazing. And the reason why is because um, the reason why I don't use the one I just showed you for like just the whole time is because of the fact that they don't have a cool side. I like for my puppies to be able to kind of go and cool down if they want to for whatever reason. So that one that we did, um, like I said, I, I may even try to patent it, but that's what we switched it to. You know what I'm saying? Um, we switched them to when we get them home. It's it's the cat litter box, heating pad, um, and then, you know, uh, we have like these holders that hold the wee-wee pads on top of it. It's dope, it's dope. I'm gonna do an episode on it. But anyway, guys, like I said, so that's, that's what we use. So to answer the original question of someone asking if we use incubators, that's what we use, um, like I said, I threw out I threw out the um, heat lamps a long time ago, you know. So um, hope that's helpful. Like I said, guys, um, you got any questions? You can go ahead and you know ask away. Um, so the next thing, so so another thing I want to talk about with you guys real quick, and you guys are the first to hear this. O the only other person that knows about this is is Double Muscle Line Ant, and um, and I had mentioned it a few times in my story but not really like in detail is very general very vague I'm, you guys will be the first one to hear this right so i've been talking a little bit a while now about doing like a master class like doing um it's going to be called breeders hacks bully retreat now this is going to be for breeders who really kind of um you know breeders that 
either are just getting into the game or, or already in the game and want to take their, their camp to the next level. You know what I'm saying? Nobody has ever done anything like this. So, you know, I'm... I'm laying down the foundation for it, you know, um, but pretty much the, what it's going to be is it's going to be a select group of people, 12 to 15 people. And you can go ahead and, um, you know, sign up if you're serious about your program and you want to invest in yourself, not just your dogs, but you want to invest in yourself and your knowledge. It's going to be a two day event, two day event. And um, like I said, only only 12 to 15 people. And it's going to be, I got a venue and everything like that. And I'm going to teach you guys hands on everything that I know as much as I can teach you guys within two days. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a weekend event. Um, the two, like to pay the, the payment for it. Um, it's going to cover your hotel room. It's going to cover, uh, like three meals. Um, and it's going to cover all the supplies that I send you with. Like I said, I don't know anybody in the bully game that's ever done anything like this, but um, hey, you know, I want to try it out and see how it does because I know a lot of you guys really kind of want... What you need, bro? I got you, man. That's great. That's great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys got to see this dude. His arm is like... <laughs> um, my bad, guys. My bad. So like I was saying... Um, the bull, the Breeders Hacks Bully Retreat, right? Master class. I'm going to teach you guys as much as I can teach you guys. Um, so after uh, for uh, uh, Fluffy Bullies, after this live, I'm going to make it active on the site. So you can sign up on the site. Your your tuition, tuition. I mean, your, 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 your deposit, your payment for the class will cover the weekend. As far as your hotel stay, it'll pay for three meals. It'll pay for all the supplies I'm going to send you with, as well as I'm going to be... You know me, I like doing giveaways. I love giving back. So, one lucky person will also get a progesterone machine, a complete setup. But I'm going to teach you guys as much as I can within that weekend. I'm going to teach you guys marketing. I'm going to teach you guys progesterones. I'm going to teach you guys how to draw blood on site. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to teach you guys, you know, um, whelping 101. You know what I'm saying? How to give IV fluids and things like that. Like, I'm going to teach you guys as much as I can within that weekend. So that then you guys are set up for success. You know what I'm saying? Take your camp to the next level. Lining up breedings. Looking at genetics. Things like that. You know, the list goes on. Like, everything that you've seen on Breeders Hacks times 1,000, you know what I'm saying? So that's going to be the, the the Breeders Hacks Bully Retreat. So that's going to be, um, it, it, it starts, uh, it's it's going to be the start of 2022. So it's it's not this year, it's, it's going to be the start of next year. So you guys could go ahead and sign up. Like I said, after this live, I'm going to make it active. So if it sounds like something you're interested in, um, Go ahead and check it out. I wrote some stuff on it. You know what I'm saying? You can read it out. The location, the location is going to be in New York. So other than, you know, paying your tuition, because it's going to pay for your, it's going to cover your hotel stay. It's going to cover three meals. It's going to cover your supplies. All you got to do is just show up. So the only other thing you would have to pay for is maybe your flight, whatever, a couple hundred bucks for that. And you'll be straight. And like I said, you come meet me in person, meet Double Muscle Line Ant in person. Um, we're going to do class by day and at night. Um, you know, we're going to sit down, chop it up, you know, break bread, you know what I'm saying? And, and also network. Um, I'm also give you, like I said, give you guys, um, some, you know, some stories, some good stories, horror stories, whatever the case may be, things like that. You know, just, just give you guys as much game as possible. You know what I'm saying? If you guys are really trying to take it to the next level and, um, if you're in NY already, then you're good, bro. If you, if you already live in NY, then it's just showing up. Yeah. Like I said, um, but like, like I said, um, as far as that goes, like I, the idea, what made me think of this idea was the fact that, like I said, like I got so much hands-on training from my mentor. So I'm only doing this once a year and it's really in honor of my mentor. You know what I'm saying? So, um, like I said, guys, if that's something you're interested in, I'm not going to go, you know, all day with it, but go ahead and, um, you know, it's going to be active on the site right after this um and if you have any questions about it you could dm me but i'm only taking 12 to 15 um people because i want to work with you guys hands-on and, sh and show you guys as much as i can you know um in person 
So check that out. I'm only doing it once a year. So the first one's going to be the start of 2022. Um, I hope I hope y'all excited about that. I mean, <laughs> I think that's going to be dope. I hope it's dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I know I got some crazy shit I'm ready to teach you guys. That some stuff, Breeders Hacks is dope. The episodes is dope. I love showing you guys through YouTube. But it's different in person. Drawing blood is great to see it on YouTube. But to, to know how to do that in person... You know what I'm saying? To know how to, um, you know, uh, certain things hands-on is just different, you know? So, like I said, yo, stay tuned for that. Um, that's going to be dope. So, um, and and the, the last thing I'm going to just say about that too, you know, is um, just remember, like, I'm a big advocate like on um, it's great to invest in your dogs don't get me wrong invest in your dogs but you also got to invest in your knowledge you know what i'm saying you got to expand your you know your 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 knowledge because what happens is like if you you could have great dogs but if you don't know how to properly you know market them if you don't know how to properly you know line up their breedings you could have started off with great dogs and run a shit program so it only it all it's all knowledge you know what i'm saying that's what that class is going to give you. That's going to be an investment in your knowledge. I'm going to give you a quick scenario. Um, I took, I paid, I think it was like a thousand dollars for, I paid like a thousand dollars for a, an online course, right? People thought I was crazy. Long story short, that course showed me how to um, set up everything for breeders hacks and, and marketing and things and so on and so forth. And long story short, breeders hacks has made me that way more times over you know what i'm saying so invest in your knowledge because yo the investment in your, in this the return on your investment can be unlimited depending on the knowledge that you 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 get and what you apply you know what i'm saying so don't let that go over your heads you know what i'm saying um but like i said that class is just going to be for people who you know who are serious but anyway now to these angry toy bulls uh oh uh two times grimy said did i miss the pups no you did not no you did not that's what i want to talk about now right so before before i show you guys and things like that um with these angry toy bulls like i just i kind of wanted to like because i get a lot of questions and shit about them so just some things i want to like address on when it comes to these guys right angry toy bulls like where that where that what is it like an angry toy bull, like, what it is, is, you know, it was, the idea was to come up with, you know, this, this toy bull, like, this, this tiny bull, you know what I'm saying, but with such, you know, extreme features, you know what I'm saying, and we did this one breeding, it was Coco, it was, it, it was Coco's breeding, and she already kind of had the angry look, but it was, it wasn't as distinct, and the stud that we took her to, same thing. But when we did that breeding, it clicked so hard. All the, like, almost all the puppies off of that litter came out with that exaggerated, angry face. So, obviously, we wanted the bone. We wanted the heads. We wanted the girth. We wanted the bodies. All that shit. But that was just the icing on the cake to be able to add that exaggerated face. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, if you see one of these dogs in person, it, it, you, you, it, you can't compare it to anything else. It's insane. You know, and I've been breeding for a minute. So to see something like that, it just it, like they blew my mind. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's what well, I right, bet, bet, bet. So I'm going to bring them on in a minute. Um, So, yeah, that's that's like the angry toy bulls. And I'm going to show you guys real quick. Like the like when we first saw them, like they just looked so angry. We tried to come up with a name and that was the name that we ran with. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what they are. They, they were designed to be toy bulls but the spinoff is that they're extremely like have that exaggerated angry face you know what i'm saying so like just to show you guys real quick like like for example like this was huncho as a puppy you know what i'm saying like they just came out it, it was like crazy it, it it just blew our minds like i knew the breeding was gonna click but i didn't think it was gonna click that that well you know what i'm saying so, um, and he's like, what? Well, he's another one. So just to show you guys, this was F1s of Angry Toy Bulls, right? And then they turned out to look like this. If you guys haven't seen, you know what I'm saying? Like 
fucking amazing. That litter was fucking amazing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like so like to have these pups now off of off of oh let me get rid of this. To have these pups off of um off of Cocoa Puff like it it's I just gotta show you guys, you know? So before the last thing I'm gonna say before I show you guys is I just wanted to explain what an F1, what an F2 angry toy bull is, right? So the F1 is what is is a litter that is um like like pup like a uh, puff's litter. Those are F1s. Those are first generation angry toy bulls. It's not my first generation. I got way more generations than that, but it's first generation angry toy bull, which means all those looks all the, all the look that you're after that you like, that's the first generation of it. These guys are F2s, which is second generation angry toy bulls. You know what I'm saying? F2s are, are are pups that come off of F1s. You know what I'm saying? So that's just to kind of clear up what the confusion. Because people are like, what's an F1? What's an F2? You know what I'm saying? And then an F3 would be pups that come off of F2s. You know what I'm saying? Um, so these are like the first ever F2s. So... Let me just get right to it. Wait one second. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and grab one to show you guys. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> Drop a like. All right, y'all. I brought one. Y'all ready to see it? Let me see. Here we go. Here's one. Ah, look at that mug. Holy shit, man. I didn't think you would be able to see it through the camera. Damn. Yo, either drop a heart or something. Comment or something if you can see the angry face already. This shit is crazy, guys. Like, yo, this is a female. This is a female. And this is the first ever I'm putting. This is actually the first ever I'm putting any of my dogs on alive. That mean mug is crazy. And this is a female. <sighs> guys. Yo, you guys have no idea. Like, that's why for everybody asking, I'm sorry. I'm not selling anything off of this. I'm not selling anything off of this. You know? Um, I've been getting crazy offers. I've been getting crazy offers. But unfortunately, I'm sorry, guys. Like, I'm with, with these angry toy bulls, um, not only are we trying to keep them very exclusive, but we got a certain vision and... And we we just not I, I, we're trying to keep puppies right now. We're not trying to sell them. Oh, you thought it was a male? Yo, right? Yo, that's crazy, right? Female, like I said, insane, absolutely insane. You know, so yo, the first actual you know reveal. You know what I'm saying? Um, I hope it doesn't disappoint. Like I said, these guys when I first saw them, blew my fucking mind. So it just goes to show you breed correctly. You can have that angry look. You can lock in that angry look. You know what I'm saying? So I got to give it to Puff. I got to give it to Puff. Like, yo, she's got that angry look heavy. So this is one of her daughters. And I'm going to just say, yo, like, this is next level. Compared to her daughter, this is next level. I mean, compared to Puff, I'm sorry. So, y'all, I appreciate it. Guys, get your last looks in. I know plenty of people are probably screenshotting, but... Yeah, get your ass looks in, and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get one more, one more, and then that's it. All right, let me get one more for you guys. All right, y'all ready to see the second one? So this one, I was like, you know what? Let me bring you guys a little bit more color. So let me show you guys. So here's number two. And yet again, yet again, guys, this is a female. This is another female. Look at that roll over the nose. It is like, these guys is crazy. Another female lilac. Absolutely beautiful. Nice little short stubby arms. 
You know what I'm saying? Actually, like, she's got some really, really nice bone on her. Really nice bone on her. But, um, yeah, like I said, nice lilac -like female. Yeah, no face. <laughs> yeah, she, she's got crazy body. This female's gonna fuck shit up, man. This female's insane. Like I said, her bone, her bone is bananas. Absolutely bananas, you know? So, like I said, I'm very funny about showing puppies, but I was like, you know what? Just for you guys on the live today, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So I'm not going to be showing them like that all that often because what winds up happening is <laughs> when I show them, then people start making me crazy offers that it's hard to refuse. So, but this is just to show you guys today, you know, um, yeah, I appreciate, I appreciate all you guys. Yeah. All the comments I see, I see, you know, like I said, this female, she's, she's nuts guys. Absolutely nuts. You know? So yo, puff. And I'm going to just say this. Coco, her mother, is a producer. Like, gives us big litters and everything. So, I was like, you know, let's see how Puff does. But, yo, same exact thing. Same exact thing. Puff, she produced her ass off. And this isn't even half the litter. It's not even half the litter. So, um, and then for the people that's hitting me up asking me, um, do I have so like I said those are two male uh, two females um let me let me put her away real quick I don't want her to get too cold but last look a little nice lilac female absolutely insane this that's not even her nose that's a roll I gotta push this up that's a roll that's how you know that angry face is really gonna set in really nice when the puppies it's very faint but over time it just gets more and more exaggerated So, yeah, so anyway, <laughs> off the ground bully said, let's see a male. I'm going to say that for next time. So uh, for those that are asking if we have a male, stay tuned and find out. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to just tell you guys, like I said, this litter hit hard. This litter hit really, really hard, guys. Really, really hard. And all, all, the only hint I'm going to give you guys is there's definitely more to see. Definitely more to see. So... Um, just so you guys can see, you know, what we producing over here. Um, I usually don't show them to that young, but Hey, if you guys want, um, wait, I mean, just wait till you see what anger starts producing too, guys. Like, like it's all, it's all revolved around the same angry toy bull look, you know what I'm saying? So, Hey, if you ain't locked in anger, I'm, I'm up in his stud feet, especially with these puppies on the ground. Um, and just the advancement of the angry toy bulls as a whole, um, I'm going to be, um, raising his stud fee when he opens up next month. So if you guys want that angry toy bull look, like I said, I'm not selling nothing. Um, you can, you know, check out either anger for breedings or, um, contact any of the people. There's plenty of people on the live that locked him in, um, to breed. You can, you know, buy a puppy off of them, you know, and, um, get you some of that angry toy bull look. Um, what pick are those? I'm going to keep it a buck. They're like, don't, I, I don't really like, I don't, I don't like to gas things up, but this litter, like they're, they're all first picks in my eyes. I'm not even, I'm not even going to lie. I, I couldn't say what picks they are. They're, they're both phenomenal in my eyes, the whole litter. That's why I'm not selling anything off of it. Um, hopefully that answers your question. Um, but anyway, so, um, like I said, um, as far as puppies goes, um, I don't, I, I, I don't, I know a lot of you guys have been asking about what's available. Here's the good news, right? So the good news is I've been so busy. I haven't had the time to announce it, but another litter actually just dropped. You guys have known this before I even post on the page or anything. Another litter actually just dropped today. Um, it's a crossbones daughter bred to paintball, bred back to paintball. So it's, it's a paintball son bred to, um, uh, 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 paint, uh, I'm sorry, the daughter of a paintball son bred to paintball. So it's two times paintball, two times bait, all that good shit. So, um, that litter just dropped. I may have some stuff available off of that. Um, like I said, I'll post it on my page. Um, when the time 
comes, but that's just something to be mindful of. Like I said, I'm sorry, you know, with this litter, everybody's been hitting me up about it, but I, I'm sorry, I can't, I'm not, I'm not selling anything off of that right now. Um, so hopefully for you guys that have been looking for puppies, we might have something for you off of that, you know? So anyway, guys, um, yo, I hope, hope you guys like that. I hope, you know, uh, I hope this was a little informative. I hope it was a little helpful. You know what I'm saying? I hope. Um, I hope to see maybe some of you guys in the master class, you know, all that good shit. So now I got, let's see, it's, all right, it's 849 where I'm at, right? I leave like 10 minutes for like possibly questions, things like that. And then I got to jump off. I only wanted to keep this to like an hour because sometimes it could get crazy. And for you guys that know, um, juniors inside and, you know, I want to go have dinner with the fam. So like I said, I open this up to maybe questions, or anything like that for like the next like 10 minutes. And then, um, you know, I'm going to sign off. Um, but shit, wow. I can't believe I just showed them guys. <laughs> Those guys is hard. Those puppies is really hard. They're dope. They're dope. Um, I know there were some questions earlier. Let me see if maybe... Let's see if I could roll back and see. Um, <laughs> Bully Pride Kennel said he took a screenshot. That's what's up. Yeah. Better off because... I don't know when I'm going to be posting anything off of this litter again as far as pictures goes. Um, uh, Bayshore Bullies. Okay. Um, so you said you came in late. All right. So the master class, right? So, um, all right. With the master class, it's going to be a two-day event. Um, you can go after this live. I'm going to make it active. So all you got to do is go to um, breedershacks.com. I pinned the comment, go to breedershacks.com right after this live. And um, I have like a list of information about it. But it's a two-day event. It's going to cover your hotel stay. It's going to cover three meals. It's going to cover your supplies that I send you out with. You know what I'm saying? Um, during the day, it's it's hands-on you know, teaching, progesterones, uh, AIs, all that good stuff. Um, hands on and then at night you know we break bread you know do dinner um you know uh chop it up network things like that you know what i'm saying it, it's gonna be dope it's gonna be dope and then you know this is gonna be i'm only taking on 12 to 15 people and it's gonna be once a year so um if you join us then you're more than welcome to come the following years things like that you know so it's it's gonna be really dope so like i said um after this, I'm going to make it active. You could go on the site, read more about it. I'm going to be updating it more, add some more pictures, videos, things like that. But just for right now, you guys are getting the raw and uncut of what I typed up. And you can go on the site and check it out. You can even um, book your, uh, lock in your seat, lock in your ticket if you want to, you know, join us. Um, it's going to be at the start of 2022. Um, let's see. I hope that answers your question, Bayshore Bullies. Uh, Bulls SD. Do you have a clinic or vet practice? <laughs> you would think I do, right? <laughs> With all the crap that we got. Nah, I don't have a clinic or a vet practice. Um, I'm just a breeder that is pretty knowledgeable in what I do. You know what I'm saying? My mentor was um, a, a, a vet tech, uh, was also uh, studying to be a surgeon. So um, that kind of helped a lot with the hands-on things and stuff like that. But um, no, and I try to tell people, you know, I'm not a vet. So, you know, um, when they come to me with questions and things like that, you know, just so they know. Um, let's see. Uh, umbrella Takeover Bullies, appreciate it, appreciate it. Um, Bay Shore Bullies, yeah, if you, if you, hey, if you want to join us for uh, the Breeders Hacks Bully Retreat, like I said, I'm going to make it live right after this. And um, you can go ahead and, you know, lock in your seat if you want. You know what I'm saying? I love to meet, I would love to meet some of you guys in person lately, you know, especially within the next year. I haven't really been, I mean, for a while, I haven't really been hitting shows or anything like that, especially because of my son. You know, um, he hasn't even been fully vaccinated yet. So I'm re I really try not to go out. So this is going to be, like I said, like this, I'm saving my appearance for, like, for something like this. This is going to be big, you know? Um, and, and we're going to have everything, you know, um, yeah, I don't want to give too much away. I don't want to give too much away. The people who are serious about it, you guys will see. You know what I'm saying? You guys will see everything that it comes with. The knowledge is like priceless. It's priceless. You know? And then on top of that, actually, one thing I did forget to mention is if you do join um, uh, the class, um, you also get special pricing on everything forever. So you get special pricing on puppies. You get special pricing on any of my studs. Um, you're part of the 
you know, Breeders Hacks, Double Muscle Line Squad. You know what I'm saying? So if uh, you need pricing on any of that stuff, if you decide that you want to start selling, um, we give you distribution prices, things like that, uh, as far as products and stuff. So, um, yeah, that's, like I said, it, the value in it is, like, ridiculous. Um, I'm over in the UK and had an ultrasound done on a bitch today. The man scanning said he could not see the right kidney straight away on and the scan and it says it's not right that he can see it is that true um would the right kidney be very hard to find on an ultrasound scan um i'm not sure an ultrasound done on a uh i said right kidney well what's wrong with the dog that that you need to look at the kidneys but um i never really Never really needed to look at kidneys on an ultrasound. I really couldn't tell you. Really couldn't tell you, but what's the problem? Let me know. Um, off the ground bullies would love to ex uh, would love to experience that, man. I only uh, I'm, you're gonna ha uh, bulls SD. You're gonna have to DM me because I only have like another five minutes on here. So um, if you really want my undivided attention, then just go ahead and DM me, and um, I'll definitely take a look for you because I gotta definitely I gotta sign off within like five minutes. Um, so yeah, like I said, I don't know, I don't know any breeder that's ever done anything like this, you know? Um, so like I said, um, you guys get also, like I said, you get plugged in, like I, I've, I've seen a lot of kennels doing like the franchise thing lately and stuff like that. And like, you know, that, that, that's cool and everything. But for me, yet again, I'm, I'm just, I'm built different. Like, I'm more about the knowledge, you know what I'm saying? So for me, it's just like, you know, um, I, you, you know, I'd rather just give you the knowledge, you know what I'm saying? So, and it's, and best believe the class is not no $20,000, you know, don't, don't, it's, it's definitely no crazy franchise fee. So the class, like I said, is, is nowhere near that. You guys can go ahead and check it out on the site. Um, and like I said, I'm, I, I'm going to treat you though, as if. Like I said, you become a part of the squad. You become a part of the family. You need, you know, anything, whatever the case may be. You know, you you need uh you need meds overnighted to you. I got you. I mean, I I do that for some of the people on here anyway. But you know what I mean. You know, you you you're part of the family at that point. You know, and I would uh, invite you guys to you know come to further um you know other classes and things like that. So anyway, I think it's gonna be really dope. I had a lot of people actually asking me if I'm gonna do an online version of it. I don't think so because the point of this is to do it hands-on in person so if you really want to just you know learn you can just watch episodes of breeders hacks maybe in the future i'll do an online one i don't know the first one i want it in person though and um i'm gonna have you know professional um camera crew come and uh, like i said we're gonna blow this up we're gonna make it big it's gonna be dope i don't know nobody in the board game that's doing this so um yeah so i mean if you guys like i said i got four minutes left any questions you guys have um, I appreciate everybody who bought a badge. Um, like I said, if you truly support the live, you support us, man. I, I truly like those badges definitely help, you know, because I'm a little bit funny about jumping on the lives, you know, um, because uh, <laughs> just like, you know, sometimes I'll go on a tangent and whatnot. I like with Breeders Hacks, I could chop it up, make the perfect video. You know, uh, the lives is definitely way more off the top of the head. But hey, by you guys sending out a badge, that definitely tells me like I'm doing something right. You guys appreciate the knowledge, the information. So I'll definitely do more of them. But um, and like I said, after this live, I'm going to go ahead and do a, a, a mini raffle. So if you bought a badge, I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, send you um, the raffle is going to pick a random number. And we're going to go ahead and send the winning number um, a prize. So anyway, guys. Um, oh, and another thing. Uh, the Frenchie Club, because I, I just saw uh, your name has Frenchie in it. This doesn't just apply to bullies. So if you breed English Bulldogs, if you breed um, Frenchies, you could breed fucking Schnauzers. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? A lot of this, informa a lot of this information it applies to the same thing. It's the same principles. You know what I'm saying? So, um, uh, off the ground, off the ground, uh, bullies, yo, truly, truly appreciate it. He's bought three badges this live. Um, like I said, um, I'm gonna do a mini raffle after this. So, yo, I truly appreciate it, bro. We got two minutes left. Um, I think I'm gonna start keeping my lives to like an hour. I'm not gonna go over that. 
But um, like I said, this master class, I'm going to... If you want to jump on before I start advertising it, you know, check it out right after this live. Like I said, I'm going to make it live right after this. But um, other than that, like, after this live, I'm going to soon start putting it in episodes of Breeders Hacks. I'm going to start promoting it. And then at that point, like I said, I'm only taking 12 to 15 people. After that, you know, you, you kind of snooze, you lose, you know. Um, will, will it be a private event just for people or you can bring one bully or Frenchie? It's going to be a private event just for the people, at least for this first one. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't, you know, I don't really, any, I, I don't want anybody really bringing their dogs. You know what I'm saying? Just because of like the place that the, the place that we got it, it rented at, the event and things like that is at least not this time. You know what I'm saying? Um, 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 barrel takeover underscore bullies. Yo, he bought a badge. Truly appreciate it. Yo, you're entered into the raffle. Like I said, I'm doing a giveaway after this. Um, so, yeah, like I said, this master class, like I said, I don't know. The the event, Bayshore Bullies, the event is in New York. Long Island, New York. So, your ticket, the, the seat that you lock in pays for your hotel stay. And it pays for everything. You know, it pays for three meals. It pays for... Um, you know, your supplies that I'm going to give you because I'm going to give you guys supplies to leave with. You know what I'm saying? You guys are going to get set up. And this is what the episode of Breeders Hacks tomorrow is all about. Uh, you guys are going to be set up for success. You know what I'm saying? And it doesn't stop there. You guys can contact me at any point in time. You guys will get my direct number, not Instagram, because I get a stupid amount of messages. So anyway, guys, it's time for me to sign off. Bayshore Bullies, I appreciate you buying a badge last minute. You're um, entered into the raffle that I'm going to do after. Um, like I said, I truly appreciate all you guys um, tapping in, seeing the bullies, things like that, seeing the, the, the pups. And um, i see you guys. Remember tomorrow, <laughs> CJE underscore one bought a badge. You, yo, you entered into the raffle too, man. Um, like I was saying... Um, tomorrow, don't forget, I'm dropping an episode of Breeders Hacks. Um, I got Double Muscle Line Ant on there. It's going to be only on the YouTube channel. So definitely make sure to look out for that. And um, I'll see you guys on the next live or on the next episode of Breeders Hacks. Uh, <laughs> Lion <laughs> Lioness Welpin, they're not letting me sign off. They keep sending badges. Um, I appreciate you buying a badge too. You entered into the raffle as well. All right, now that's it. That's it. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Breeders Hacks. See you guys in the next live.